Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to this video in our series on IGCSE Business Studies. This is Unit 5, Part 4. In today's lesson, we will be learning about the statement of financial position. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Today we are going to be looking at the statement of financial position. The balance sheet, along with the income statement is prepared at the end of the financial year. It shows the value of a business assets and liabilities at a particular time. It is also known as the statement of financial position. Assets are those items of value owned by the business. These can be further broken down. First, fixed and non-current assets are assets that remain in the business for more than a year. Their values fall over time in a process called depreciation. Examples are buildings, vehicles, and equipment. Next, short-term and current assets. These are owned only for a very short time. Examples are inventory, trade receivables, which are debts from customers and cash. There can also be intangible, meaning that they cannot be touched or felt, non-current assets like copyrights and patents that add value to the business. Liabilities are the debts owed by the business to its creditors. Let's look at long-term and non-current liabilities. These are liabilities that do not have to be repaid within a year. Examples are loans and debentures. Next, short-term or current liabilities. These need to be repaid within a year but often in a much shorter period of time. Examples are trade payables, to suppliers, and overdrafts. The formula for working capital is current assets minus current liabilities. This is because the liquid cash a company has with them will be the liquid or short-term assets they own, less the short-term debts they have to pay. Shareholders' equity is the total amount of money invested in the company by shareholders. This will include both the share capital. This has been invested directly by shareholders. Also reserves, things like retained earnings and general reserves. Shareholders can see if their stake in the business has risen or fallen by looking at the total equity figure on the balance sheet. In the description below there is a link to a simple balance sheet. It also has a few equations that you require for this section. You can download it now. One of the equations that may require a little more explanation. Capital employed equals shareholders equity plus non-current liabilities. This is because non-current liabilities like loans are also used for permanent investment in the company. What are the uses of a statement of financial position? When the current assets subtotal is compared to the current liability subtotal, investors can estimate whether a firm has access to sufficient funds in the short term to pay off its short term obligations, basically whether its assets are liquid. One can also compare the total amount of debt, liabilities, to the total amount of equity listed on the balance sheet, to see if the resulting debt equity ratio indicates a dangerously high level of borrowing. This information is especially useful for lenders and creditors, especially banks, who want to know if the firm will be able to pay back its debt. Investors like to examine the amount of cash on the balance sheet to see if there is enough available to pay them a dividend. Managers can examine their balance sheets to see if there are any assets that could potentially be sold off without harming the underlying business. For example, they can compare the reported inventory assets to the sales to derive an inventory turnover level, which can indicate the presence of excess inventory, so they will sell off the excess inventory to raise finance. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.